poorly built Jenga towers, polka dot them all. The cows and sheep for centuries have wondered what they're for. Perhaps the ancient ladders leading straight into heaven. The last young lamb to try it fell down and smashed his head in. The cows tried them as markers to work out where they are, but in their field they're useless as they never travel far. Here we are at, <laughs> I was going to say Heart Tour, and here we are in Dartmoor with Daisy joining Hi. along for the ride. Hi. We've got a little friend down here as well right now. Nice little horsey. There's horses everywhere around here. It's just an absolutely fantastic place. And UK is having a heat wave and what a better time to be on Dartmoor having a wild camp. There's going to be a fantastic um, place to camp tonight. We're going to be camping at Fogator Quarry. Hopefully at Fogator Quarry we can catch a bit of a swim as well. The water should be quite nice and warm, I dare say, because uh, the sun's been on for quite a while. But first of all, we're going to go over that way to King's Tour and see what we find. Dartmoor National Park covers a staggering 954 square kilometres and 368 square miles of land. The moorland and surrounding land have been protected by National Park status since 1951. Wow, it is hot. So this walk up King's Tour, which would usually be alright, it's quite demanding. Ooh. That's the curry from last night. Yes. You can see Great Miss Tour over there, you can see where we parked our car. So over there, those trees, that's, that's a fantastic place to park your car if you come into the Merry Vale part of Dartmoor because right in the middle you can go off in all angles from that car park to all, all different areas of Dartmoor but yeah, almost at the top of King's Tour now Up at King's Tour, it, the views are absolutely insane. But this is one view that we're particularly interested in. This is Foggin Tour Quarry in the distance there. So we're about to have a bit of a short walk over there and see if we can find somewhere to camp. It does get very popular, Foggin Tour Quarry, because it is popular with the people that want to go for a swim, etc. So. Hopefully we will find a nice little spot to camp for the night. Yeah. Watch this space. The extracted granite from Fogator Quarry is particularly famous for being material used to build Nelson's Column in Trafalgar Square, which was completed in November 1843. I love going camping with my dad. Oh, thanks Daisy. Daisy! Oh. Thanks Daisy, I love you coming with me too. This building behind me up at Fagator Quarry was one of the buildings that was dedicated to the people that were working here at the time. It was either a church, 
a school, a shop, something like that. We, we know that those sort of buildings were here and that we're here to support the community that used to work out of the quarry. Now, it's just been taken over by cows. <laughs> There are two entrances to Fogatore Quarry, one on the westerly side and one on the north. This is the northerly entrance. Absolutely beautiful. This is looking at Fogatore Quarry from the north. And this, looking from the south. On such a hot day, these waters provided welcome relief. If you love Dartmoor, and you love wild swimming, you just simply have to come here. This is amazing. We had an amazing swim. It was absolutely perfect. Like the water was a, an amazing temperature and we've now come out and we're chilling, lying in the tent. There's a nice bit of draft that's coming through to keep us cool, because it is Scorchio still outside. And Daisy is lay here in a North Face um, down sleeping bag with a rab down jacket on in the sleeping bag and she says that, that she's not hot I, I just don't know my daughter's mental <laughs> fucking tall quarry is a great place to gather water but make sure that you purify it and filter it first we have the GeoPress, which filters out chemicals, heavy metals, particulates, viruses, bacteria and protozoa. It actually makes the water taste fantastic. And it means that we can take water from anywhere, especially important on a really hot day like this. Tonight it is minced beef hot pot, which is my personal favourite. Daisy's got pasta bolognese, which happens to be her personal favourite as well. Mm. Absolutely love this. It's got loads of pepperami balls in there. And well, it, ta it tastes like pepperami to me, but obviously it's beef. It says beef on the packet, but like, yeah, you know, Daisy, check that. Look at that. There's a bit of ball there if you want to grab one. Okay, give that a go. Might be a bit hot. Oh what? Three balls. How good is that? Three balls. Morning people, we had a fantastic night's sleep. 
in Fargo Tall Quarry. We did a bit of a night walk around here. Daisy found how many frogs? 11. 11 frogs around here. This place has got so much wildlife going on, it's just incredible. And also when we were doing the what night walk last night, shining our torches at the top of the cliffs, you could see these eyes peering down at us, which looks like, like aliens, but they were actually cows. Well, we think they were cows. They could have been the beast. Um, but yeah, they, they, they were looking pretty freaky as well. Absolutely fantastic place. And now we uh, packed up, we've had a bit of breakfast, leaving no trace, of course, and we are off to Shara Pools. It is going to be incredible. Daisy's looking amazing this morning, rested up. You all right, Daisy? Yeah. Let's do this. Fucking Tall Quarry is such a special place, and we will definitely be back. The walk to Sharapools was fantastic, especially on a day like this. We parked at Venford Reservoir and walked in a north-easterly direction until we came to a really steep descent down through the forests. It's not before long that you can hear the river raging below you. And then, not before long, there it is. Sharapools. We made it all the way down that really steep hill to Sharapul and it is not disappointing right now. It is absolutely stunning. So that water down there. So deep as well, so deep and clear. Wow. Bring it on. Oh my god, this is incredible. You've got to come here if you're in Dartmoor. You probably can't hear me right now, but if you can. Wow, check this out. Absolutely bliss. Absolutely bliss. Shallow dive like. That's it. <laughs> Wow, Sharapal in Dartmoor has been incredible. But soon we're gonna leave here and walk back up the hill, back to the car. We're gonna stop off at the Dartmoor Inn and have a nice steak. Finish off the amazing weekend in an amazing way. Daisy, it has been incredible. Thanks for coming with me this time. No yeah, a legend. Just, uh, it's just been an absolutely perfect heatwave weekend on Dartmoor. 
just look at this. Look how beautiful this is. And I've also used my water purifier to get some water out, out of there. And I tell you, the taste of the water is better than out of the tap. Really, really, really nice. So, made sure I've got a nice drink inside me before we go back up that hill. We really could sit here all day. It really is beautiful. But we do need to walk up that hill, have a steak before we drive back later. Come to Sharapur in Dartmoor, park down in the village. You can Google it and find out the village walk from the uh, village. I'll, I'll put the name of the village in the link and here across the screen. Uh, or you can just go the car park where we parked up, up by the reservoir at the top of the hill on what down. Um, we'll see how hard that walk is to go back up there in a sec. But well, I just, uh, in awe of this place. It was sad to leave the Sharapals. On the way back, we passed the car park we had parked at, at the previous evening. And then we made our merry way to the Dartmoor Inn where we was going to try some of their fantastic organic steaks. We're now in the Dartmoor Inn and we are going to have one of these fantastic steaks cooked on the grill there. It's a ribeye steak, it's going to be insane. So ready for this, so ready. Wow, this looks insanely amazing, cannot wait for this. So good. Wow. Woo. Absolutely stuffed now. So it's time to go back. Time to go back home. But we have had an incredible time here in Dartmoor. And we'll be back. We'll be back soon. Will we? Yeah, we will. <laughs>